Now then guys, how you doing? Back on the road again. And today we're venturing out, right, to a place near York. Now it's been all over Instagram, all right? And it's a bit special because you have to, I don't think it's a, like a cafe or something like that, because what you have to do, you have to look on Instagram, you have to place your order, arrange a time to go pick it up, all right? And uh, off you go. And it's called Scranny McPhee. Ho, <laughs> ho, what about that, Told Scranny McPhee? So, Told Scranny, Scranny Danny is coming for you. Come on, man, let's go see what Scranny McPhee's making up for me. Woo hoo hoo! Hey, Scranny, Scranny! Scranny, 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 Scranny McPhee! Hey, Scranny, Scranny! Scranny, 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 Scranny McPhee! So, I wonder if they're going to have like. Uh, one of those canes, you know, they come out and tsh, 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 couple of times on floor and boom, boom loads of food. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Or is it is it Scranny McPhee? Is it some old bird with big nose and wart on? You know, <laughs> like in film. You never know, do you? Yeah, so it's it's intriguing because I like these places, like these pop-up kitchens that where people are making stuff from their own home. And you you know you've got it's. It starts to become what they call Instagram famous, Instagrammable, and TikToking and all this kind of stuff. You know, I love stumbling upon them. Hey, up, look, and I love it that we're having to drive out to old country bumpkin roads as well. So we've come all the way past sort of York towards Scarborough, Malton Way, and now we've turned off, and it's like twisty country roads. You don't want to take a wrong turn down here. That's it. You're gonna you're gonna be to woods. Oh, hey, do you know what this reminds me of? When I'm taking kids to uh, Alton Towers, the roads there don't wear there are like this. You, you, you've got to be careful. You've got to have your wits about you. So is this some? What's this here? Some kind of train train track crossing or what? Right, here we go. Get ready, count it, Cameron. That's a bit of a bit of a bump here. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's old train train tracking. Do -do 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 -do. Choo -choo. <laughs> Like that fella with big eyeballs at train spotter. Give it a peep. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. He blow his whistle. What's his name? Oh, I forgot what his name is. He gets right giddy, doesn't he? When uh, told trains blow up whistle. It's like me when when they come out with kebab. I'll have to start doing that when they bring food out. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Right, look at this. Huh? Straight across. Look, look at this whole old bridge. Straight. Oh yes. Has it flooded this river? Right. Here we go. What? What's up? Look at all these ruins here, cameraman. You're getting a scenic tour now, guys. As you see here, over my shoulder. Look at this. This looks nice. Might have to come back here on a nice sunny day. Bring some sandwiches. Eh? Pack, pack your jam sarnies. Back in there. I used to love salad cream sandwiches, me. Oh, yes. Eh? Bit of salad cream in bread. Bang. And it wasn't Heinz, neither. It was that cheap stuff that were really tangy. You know, in bread. We're probably just about to go out a date, bit of mould on edge. <laughs> Pack them up with me mates, head out, go for a bike ride. Cut woods here, oh yes. So the, the, when I've come out this morning, over in Leeds, quite bright and I thought, hey up, it's going to be alright today. Just put a t-shirt on. So we're in, we're in back of beyond, near York now. Black clouds all over, it's a bit muggy, a bit wet. But that won't stop me, and I've got to van now, so any weather, any weather. Let's go, I can't wait while we're eating takeaways, it back at van in snow. <laughs> I'll have to leave door open so that I get that little bit of coldness, because uh, I like me fine dining outside. I'll tell you what'll happen, you know, I'll end up having to stand outside, sit outside in rain, and cameraman will sit in van, filming from van. That's what it'll be, it'll be like, Dan, sit outside, do you? I always, I always come worst off me. Yeah. It's like that, I give them a bottle of water the other day and I've had a right load of blowback about that. Why didn't I give them a burger? You want to see him? Oof, you don't need no burgers. It's down here, looking for number two. And I think, she said, the old lady on the phone, I phoned her up. She said, Land Rover outside. Reckon this is it. What number is this? Number two's up there, cameraman. Right, we'll get up here. Bosh, there you go. There you go. Right, guys, so th this is it. It's a bit uh, out of way, isn't it? So we're in the middle of fields, all right, somewhere. And uh, you have to go in here and get your get your food. So, again, it's, it's, oh, oh, 
it's one of those where it's just like get, get your food from somebody's house i like this come on let's go for it and let's see what's happening oh. Oh, right guys here we go oh look at the state of me van covered i've just had it washed this morning covered in mud oh cameraman we're gonna have to get that sorted out now look at it down here is all, all muck right guys here we are the middle of uh, middle of nowhere lots of fields so let's get towed table and chair out put towed knacker cracker away oh. oh here we go i'm excited about this because what i find is some of the best the best food you get is when people are actually cooking it from home <laughs> so this could be a proper hidden gem because it is hidden isn't it it's, it, it's hidden out of the way not you know there's no big signpost there's no come see scranny mcfee so let's go let's go tap the stick and have some all right guys let's go see what's going on here uh, told scranny mcfee look at this so you, you're coming down road and you're going into an house uh, it's nuts you all right love uh, i am is this the right place Granny McPhee, come on then, let's go get it sorted. Look at this, guys. Straight for up, do I come up here? Alright, love. Well, I will do, yeah. What's this barbecue? Let me have a little one, have a little campfire. Is it? Country life, what, looking out over all this? That's great, isn't it? Well, yeah. I'll... York, go on then. Yeah. Yorkshire tea, eh? Can't be a bit of Yorkshire tea. So yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll set up out here. So I'll, I've just I've let everybody know what's going on. So you have to order through Instagram and all that, is it? Yeah, it's yeah. Paperless. paperless. Yeah. I, I like that. Saving the environment and all that yeah. kind of stuff. It. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so yeah, so I'll set my table up, and I've not told people what I've got yet. So. All in one go, and then it, so if I set up, and if you can just talk us through what it is, that'd be great. Uh, just nice and strong, no sugar. Milk, yes, please. Right, where where we're we going, cameraman? Yeah. Okay. Do you want do you want a cup of tea? Yeah, I'll have a cup of tea. You don't usually get out. Right, guys, here we go. Look at this. It's it's a bit different, isn't it? This. Yeah. And do you know do you know something? Listen. Peace and quiet, and all you can hear is just birds, wildlife. It's all going on. What a lovely place. Yeah. Listen, whoop, 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 all birds going. Right, whole way up, cameraman. Chairs on. <laughs> I'll tell you something. I hope chair don't break here. Put knack a cracker away. I hope chair don't break here because, I'm, well, I hope it does actually because I'm on grass. Be a bit softer landing, won't it? Right, let's do chair test. Here we go, guys. Oh, bosh. Right, we're here. We sat down. Table's here. We're in the countryside. Right, so we're in York, just outside of York. It's called Scranny McFees. And you, you, you look what there is, put your order in, come pick it up, and that's it. You can go off. You can go sit in countryside. I don't know if she's going to be too impressed if you all start rocking up and sitting on the lawn. But I am. A little campfire here, look wicked, I like that. I love that. But it's just peaceful. Peaceful. As much as I like to talk to you lot, how nice is this? Uh, sitting with nature. I love camping and stuff, me. I love it. And this, this, this is my kind of thing. So, let's get ready for food. I haven't told you what I'm getting. I'm going to let it be a surprise. And I'm going to see if she'll talk us through what it is. See you in a bit. Come on. Look at this, look at this guys, cups of tea as well, Yorkshire tea. So, is that cameraman's? Yeah, once you yeah. say 
he don't usually get out, so he, he's loving it today. Look at that. Oh, yes, guys, look at this. Yorkshire brew. Oh, do you know something? I'm a bit more of a... I've got a bit of a thing today on my finger. It's doing me nothing. I must have caught it. Keep, keep having to rub it. I'm a bit of a coffee drinker, to be fair. But now and again, I do like a cup of tea. Love a cup. Hey, up. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's it. Right. So, did you break in one for you? Which is on the top. Yeah. And then underneath, you've got your sweet tooth and your Yorkshire. Right. So, so this is the what? Wakey bakey. Wakey bakey. So, yeah. so this one's just full of all bakes, is it? And yeah, all pastries. Yeah. A uh, couple of savoury bakes in there as well. Fresh fruit, yogurt, just everything you need really. To and then you, it, this one, this, this <laughs> one here, this looks like it's going to be a bit of me. So this is like a dessert one, isn't it? Oh my yeah. God, look at that. Oh. So that. we make everything in there as well. Yeah. Everything's locally sourced. All fruits come from his garden. Yeah. So, yeah. Can we just go through prices for these so we yeah. just know? So, how much is this one here with the cheese and the quiche and all that? The savoury so one? So, we do a standard size box in all of his grazers to yeah. show that if you're a person for one, you can still order. Right. So, standard in New York should be 24 95 and then yeah. you charge 14 50 per person for anything bigger than that, and that'd get you two full portions. But for me, that'd serve one to two nicely as a grazer. Yeah. All one as a full portion. Uh, you wakey bakey, again, it's 20. 23 standard of yeah. 13.50 per person after that and then again 23 standard and 12.50 per person. So these are like 20 quid? Yeah. These are good aren't they? It's just for the packaging because it's all recycled. Yeah. So the packaging costs a fortune. Yeah so but it's saving that. the environment again isn't it? I yeah. suppose when you're living out here like this uh, it's good isn't it? Yeah. I like it. Right I'm going to tuck in thank you very much. Bye. Right guys I'm going to have to Whoa. I'm going to open this one up first. All right, let's just show you first. And, and I can see what, what uh, told Scranny McPhee's talking about here with packaging because it is it is packaged up nice. So we've got the dessert one here, right? And then we've got the, the savoury one. Oh, I can't wait, right? Let's just open it up. Do you know what? I'm no, I'm, I'm no good with here. You might want to come get that brew cameraman because it was a bit of a knot in this. I can't get it off. You any good at knots? Yeah. What no scissors it? It's old. I don't think wooden wooden knife's gonna sort it out, is it? A few moments later. Right guys, are you ready? I can't wait to get this. I'm just gonna let's have a sup sup hey, oh. so, co co so up corner of my eye then it? it's told dog at back trying to get over. Wants a bit of scratching at feed by you. Well I'll tell you something that brew's nice. Right. <laughs> it's like opening up. Present at Christmas this. Here we go. How do you get in? Hey up, what do you do that? Hey up! What do you do here? I'll tell you something. Right, let's go like this. Ah, I get you. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Wow, look at this. Oh, yes. Now, this is a bit of me, guys. Let me tell you now, this is a bit of me. So like grazing boxes, the fact that you can have, <laughs> oh my, I've done, I've done these afternoon tea, one of these before, but this one, oh, oh the Yorkshire pudding man, right, let's get stuck into this camera, let's do this one, so, what's that gravy, that gravy, what's that, wow, it's gravy, <laughs> it's like little, there's like little hidden pots of stuff everywhere. Look at this little, oh my god. Pickled onions. Look at this guy's pickled onions. I ain't got a clue. There's a little thing here that tells you what's in. Scanny McPhee, love! <laughs> See if she'll come out. Yeah, I can hear her giggling. Here she is. Look at this. So what we got in this one then? Because I'm looking at this. So, yeah. what, what, so what's in this? So obviously with us being locally sourced, what we put in our grazers changes every time. Right. Not every day, so... Um, you've got a pea and pancetta quiche, Ooh. Uh, black pudding, sausage roll, um, thyme pulled chicken and honey roast ham stuffed yorky pods. Then you've got a four cheese loaf, a um, mixture of cold cuts of salted beef, honey host, roasted ham, pastrami, and then you've got a Wensleydale with apricot, um, a red leicester and a vintage cheddar, which all come from the house on the end there. Do they? Yeah. I'm done in. I I'm... Flabbergasted. <laughs> what? So what is this gravy? 
That's our that's our country dipping gravy. Is it? You need a Yorkshire pudding. I like gravy, gravy oh, yeah. me love. I like right. I'm I'm tucking it. Thank yeah, you very much. No oh, right, guys. Look, I don't know where to begin. Come on, this review could probably last about four hours. Right, let's go for it. So, do you know what? I'm going to grab a cracker. Right, I've got a little bit of cheese down here. So this is like locally sourced cheese. This. Do you know what I mean? There's, there's no better. Getting all the stuff from round here. What's all that about? Right guys, so we've got a few different assorted crackers and cheese. I love cheese. Oh, so it's from up here. Oh, that is amazing. A nice creamy cheddar cheese, right. So, what does she say? Pea, pea and... Pea and pancetta quiche. Oh, there's something else under here. Look, it's, it's like the gift that keeps giving. Cameraman, I think you're going to have some... Uh, some tea, aren't we? Whoa, look at that! Look at that! Wow. That is a quiche, isn't it? There's no mucking about there. That's that's just full of filling. Right, let's have a go at this. Oh. Oh. Oh, do you know what? That is amazing. Full of flavour. I would have never have thought of like pea and pancetta, to be honest. But it's full of flavour. It's nice and moist. The pastry is absolutely spot on. I've got it around my mush already. <laughs> so we've got, there's just loads guys, loads of cheese, pickles, what's this? Then you've got little bits of meat lying about, look, some pastrami there. Oh wow, oh that's nice, beautiful, fresh. Got a bit of a herby kick to it. What's this down here? And you just keep, you just look about, and you just keep finding pots of good... This will be chutney, this, won't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> cameraman. Right, three cheese bread. Look at that. Look at that. Cheese inside bread. Future. Right, let's get some chutney on here. Oh. Love a bit of chutney. Get some of that on bread. What have we got? So you, you could just keep going for hours, couldn't you? Just picking up... There's another pot down there. What's that? Some more, bit of pickle, oh, oh, oh. just keeps going, so you get a little card in here, look. And it, just, it tells you back what you've got in. Right, let's have a taste of this. Oh my God, that bread is absolutely gorgeous. Look, the apricot cheese, look, the chutney, the flavours together. Wow. Right. <laughs> it was definitely more than enough here for two people. Let's have a go at this. You've got two of these, black pudding sausage rolls, some seeds on top there. Let's have a go at this. Oh my God, it smells lovely. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my God. Wow, that guys. I think I've died and gone to heaven. Beautiful pastry, lovely sausage meat, beautiful taste of black pudding coming through. Seeds on top, add a bit of pizzazz. I'm not putting these bits back in box, guys, because I know there's enough here for cameraman to have some. <laughs> right, done cheese, done crackers. Got a bit of ham down here, look. Look at this. Scranny McCam. <laughs> Let's try a bit of this. So. Big pieces of ham, look at this, it's just loads, you've got crackers, cheese, ham, look, bits of, bits of chorizo. Oh, oh smoky. Oh, that's a quality one, that surprised me. Oh, that's nice. Do you know what? I just can't fault it, you've got tub of beetroot, I love beetroot. Look at this, get a bit of beetroot out of here. Do you know what, I think all that's missing from this is a picnic blanket in countryside with somebody to talk to and a bottle of wine. So what have we got left? We've got these Yorkshire puddings. I'm going to go for it. So I'm going to go for a chicken one. Look at this here. So you've got homemade Yorkshire pudding stuffed with, oh, look at that there. I've just ripped it. Oh my God. Stuffing, chicken. And I never in a million years thought about doing this. Let's have a go. It's like a little Yorkshire pudding sandwich. Oh yeah. Right, so this is the dipping gravy, 
I've dropped a bit of cheese in it. Let's have a go at this. Let's pour some on. There's a bit of cranberry on there, I know. Wow. Right. Oh my god. Guys. Look at that. What's that? A bit of bacon or something. Wow. I know for a fact that if I went to my mum and dad, here you go. Have that, they'd be over at moon. That is absolutely amazing. Right, let's get these bits in here. And let's move on to we're gonna want this one first. I'm gonna leave that big dessert one while last. I'm gonna pop that there. Right. Here we go, look, opening up more presents. Yeah, it's getting into it. Oh, have I just made that into a knot again? Here we go. Right, get my knife out. Just bear with me guys. Cutting through the wrong bit. About right for me that. There we go. Get that right. So in this one, bacon and cheese muffin. What's all that about? Bacon and cheese muffin, maple and pecan twist, Nutella and strawberry plat. We've got cinnamon swirl. Oh my god! Sugar waffles, banana and blueberry pancake, pan au chocolat, fresh fruit, yogurt and granola. Oh, <laughs> let's have a go at this. Uh, I'll tell you something, I told cameraman, I bet he'd have this, he likes all this kind of stuff, granola and other bits and bobs, right, put that down here, wow, so we've got kiwi, orange, look at this, melon, there's raspberries, cherries, and then you've got pan of chocolate, cinnamon swirl, little pancake there, waffle, pecan, <laughs> bacon and cheese muffin <laughs> oh look look yep this one comes with it what's that if, if that's lemon curd i'm loving life oh my god it is it is oh get ready right pancake straight in so we've got blueberry pancake oh my god look at them and i'm not being funny when i've had blueberry pancakes before you don't find blueberries hey up who's this always somebody interrupting me the see who it is it's me ram Let's get it on here. She'll love this. All right, ma'am. Yeah, I'm just bringing to see how things are. They're all right, ma'am. I'm, I'm filming at a minute. Oh. Yeah, but Leah, look at this. I'm at this place in York called Scranny McPhee's. Yeah, look at this, ma'am. Yeah, look at this. <gasps> right, look at this. What's this? Oh. And then look at this one. You'll love this one. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not going to fetch in on though because I'm going to eat it all. Oh. <laughs> all right, I'll give you a call in a bit no, because. You can't. You can't eat all that because of your health. I know, but listen, I'll give you a call in a bit, right? Because I've got I've got to crack on, unfortunately, and eat this. All right. All right. All right, mum. Right. See you later, bye. Oh, she'll be starving now. Bless her. She will. Right. So have a, I'll swig of my tea. Now, guys, I are on about these blueberries, the size of them. Right? But I, but I want to dip this pancake. A bit of fluff there on me. Bit of, bit of pancake here. Look at this lemon curd. I love lemon curd. I love it. Let's go for this. Oh, yes. I, oh, there ain't no... That is thick. That is... Oh, yes. I'd have loved this back in the day. Oh. Blueberries. Lemon curd. Get a bit of waffle here. Got this bit of waffle in. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, this is next level. Right, so again, guys, you've got enough, more than enough here for two people. What's this? Look, is that black currant jam? Oh, my God. Is that waffle gone? <laughs> oh, this is just this. Right, let's get into this twist. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it is a big one. Wow, good size of that. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that big. Wow, what a hell. Look at that. Got, was it raspberries, strawberries? Wow, that is huge. <laughs> do, 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 do. Look at the side, look. Boop. <laughs> it's massive, isn't it? Right, let's have a try of this. Oh, I'm getting messy, aren't I? I'm not bothered. Wow. A beautiful pastry. The filling is absolutely amazing. 
it is all over me. I'm not bothered. Right, what we got? There is just so much to go for here. It is unbelievable. I'm only taking little bits. Pecan, let's have a go at all of these. So imagine this, that nice pot of coffee. Oh, just talking away, birds are chirping, eh, newspaper, looking at what's going on in the world, seeing what plonkers are running what, and eh, you're filling your face. You've got granola, yoghurt. I'm going to try one of these. This is the muffin, bacon and cheese muffin. Look at that. How weird is this? Wow. Right, I can't wait. So you've got all the sweet stuff in the fruit. And then you've got something slightly savoury. So there's two of them in here. All right, there's just so much. All right, let's go. Oh. Oh. Oh, do you know what? That reminds me. My, my dad used to have cheese scones. Reminds me a bit like that, but then you've got the, the saltiness and the bacon coming through. Absolutely gorgeous. That is... Look at it. So it's, it's like a, a bun, a cake. But cheesy and salty and bacony. That's weird. It's weird, but it's nice. Right, I'm going I'm to have a bit of fruit. Try a bit of orange, I like a bit of orange. Here we go, peel it off. There we go, look at that. Master peeler. There's a seed in there, I've seen it. Oop, there we go, right. All in one. Wow, nice juicy oranges. Cherries all over the job. So love. <laughs> Got pip in my mouth. Do you know what? If I'm honest with you, I'm amazed. It's absolutely beautiful. Good. There's, so, there's so much in there. The flavour is great. The quality of it is spot on. And then this, wow. When I've opened that pancake up with blueberries, so do you make them yourself? Is that everything made? First time I've made it today then. Is it? Yeah, normally I do a banana pancake with like cinnamon or sultana, but I have some blueberries that we got from the farm shop yesterday. So I was like, yeah, we'll roll with it. They're, they're, they're amazing. And lemon curd. Ro recipe. Is it? You make that yourself? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, yeah. So do you sell that by jar? That's the next thing. I'm getting trading standards in because I want to make all jams and stuff. Do you? We have all the fruits and that going here. All right. So you... Rhubarb and that down the bottom. So all the, these fruits you... you, you Picking from your wow. Yeah, well, watermelon and orange. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've tried orange. That's nice. But the blueberries, without that lemon curd, is amazing because it's nice and thick. Sometimes when you get it from shop now, that's, that's like when I was a kid and it was nice and thick and a right gollop of it on a. Extra egg. That's it. That's amazing. Extra Thank you. Egg. So I'm about to crack into this one now. There's a lot for me to try, <laughs> guys. So I'm going to leave this one, but there's, there's still loads more for me to do. There's like the cinnamon swirl, there's loads of fruit, there's the yoghurt and the granola. So, like I said, two of you for breakfast. These boxes are like, what, these are 20 quid, I think she said that was 24. I'm not being funny, you think about, you go out for breakfast, right, and, and these days, for, for an English breakfast, you're probably spending upwards of 10 quid, aren't you? What about this, you know, 20 quid? That's 10 quid each, I'd pay a tenner for that excuse me, for myself, without a shadow of a doubt. Let's get on to this. This is one where a cameraman's going to say to me, look, fat boy, slow down. <laughs> Only have a couple. So, again, comes with a little note in. So we've got, oh my God, straight away, lemon drizzle cake. Now, if you haven't already wondered, I love lemon cake. I love oat with lemon. Lemon meringue, lemon drizzle cake. We've got a blackberry brownie, which is here. Jam and coconut sponge back in there. Wow. A banoffee tart, Oreo cups, oh my god, oh my god, eat and mess, party ring Rocky Road, where's that? Oh, it's here, look at that. Eat and mess, and then lotus cheesecake, oh. And again, I can already see from here, look, slip them out. <laughs> You've got little pots of sauce, there's, there's little lotus biscuits all over the place, little party rings, marshmallows, you've got a fruit kebab. So... <laughs> You've got the, the creams here. Right, let's just, oh God, right. Bit of cake off here. I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna try not to handle it too much because I know for a fact, Caraman on journey back will be dabbling into this. So a lemon drizzle cake. Oh my God. I've got a beautiful icing on top. 
but that cake is absolutely divine. It's soft. Look at it. Oh, come on, Mum. Can we just stay here today? You've got two chunks of the jam sponge. Let's have a go at that. Oh my god. Look at me. Look at this day to me. Right. <laughs> so these little Oreo cups. Look at them. My kids would love this. They'll be all over it. Look at that. Go on, go on, mate. Right, I'm going to go in one with this. Oh. What? To be honest, I don't know what to say, guys. Bonoffi. Now we're talking. Get this out of here. Right, look at that. A banoffee tart, bits of banana there, cream, chocolate, in a pastry cup. If this tastes half as good as it looks, this, this could seal the deal. Seal the deal for me. Let's go for it. Oh my god. Mum, I know you're watching. I don't know, this is one of my dad's banoffee. This is amazing. Oh. Right, so we've got it. Do you know what, guys? If I'm honest with you, I'm quite full. <laughs> and I don't think I need to try anymore, to be fair. Because I'm off of a mid of my mind up. So, let's go through it. Have a swig of Yorkshire tea. Right, so, this box here, all right, I think you said it was £24. It's just layered with fresh salad. Got lettuce leaves, radish, big tomatoes there. You've got sliced uh, gherkin, and then there's just bits of meat. There's beef, pastrami, ham. You've got big chunks of cheese. You've got little pots of gravy, beetroot, pickles. Then you've got that that quiche is absolutely amazing. It's just bursting with flavour. I'd have never put peas and pancetta together in my life in a quiche, but that is absolutely spot on. The sausage roll, wow. Wow, beautiful sausage meat, that black pudding running through it, and the pastry just cooked to an absolute perfection crisp. The Yorkshire pudding, I had the chicken one with stuffing, with that gravy, blew my socks off. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely spot on. And then the cheese bread, get get some of that pickle and that chutney and that on that and a bit of cheese, you're laughing, crackers. That, absolutely legendary, <laughs> let me tell you. Now this one. This one is more like a of a pastry breakfast box for me. You could sit down, you could have a pot of coffee, nice bit of a chat with each other. There's absolutely loads in there. You've got your cinnamon wheels. The blueberry pancakes were just bursting full of flavour. All right, you've got your... Look, I mean, the big twist there, the fruit twist. Wow, I didn't expect it to be that big, to be fair, but it was massive. Then these little muffins with the cheese and bacon in. You've just got that nice little bit of savoury there in, in a little white cakey bun. Not blow my socks off. You've got your granola and your yoghurt. And again, it's full of fresh fruit, beautiful melon, oranges, and then you've got your your raspberries, like lettuce and a lot of the fruit, the blueberries and all that. The shows have all come from around here. So it's all locally sourced. And hey up, mate, how are you? Little little spider here, a little, little, little bit of nature. Come on, my old mush. There you go. All right, mate. I don't think he's gone. Then we've got, as you can see, a big big marshmallow and fruit kebab, lemon drizzle cake, coconut cake, you've got Rocky Roads, brownies, you've got eat and mess, you've got a banoffee pie that knocks your socks off. It's just a box full of sweety goodness. Everything in these is just absolutely top quality. Now, if you've been a lucky enough person to have come here, and try this out, all right, let me know what you think. If you've not been, get on Instagram, scrap him at fee, get your box ordered, all right. I can see her being pretty busy now, so there might be a waiting list because you know what, value for money, it's spot on. And if I'm honest with you, as, as, as afternoon teas goes, this is, this is the best one I've ever had in my life, to be honest. So for me, guys, it's gonna be a nice, solid 10 
I'll see you next time. Get yourself down here. I'm cracking on with this. Cameraman, you're getting fed today, my man. See you later. Oh, wow. What's this here? Blackberries. Hey, up, little spider. Sat down beside you.